Hello, and after another week, welcome back to uh, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Sorry it's been so long since I uploaded an episode, it's just that I've had all sorts of E3 craziness and post-college stuff going on. So, I'll hopefully be a bit more regular from now on. Thank you for putting up with me. Anyway, this is Chapter 8, entitled Despair and Hope. So, let's play as the title of this sort of video goes. What's wrong, Ike? Done already? Come on, son. You'll never beat me with that attitude. Ha! <laughs> Think you're as stubborn as your mule-headed father? Ike. Grow up big and strong. I believe you've got the makings of a great warrior. Father, this isn't a dream, is it? This this is all real. Mist. The sun's going down, and it's getting cold. Come on, let's go. Mist. Oh, oh, Ike. Mist. Why? I was at his side, but. I couldn't save him. I'm sorry. It's it's so unreal. Dad's gone. He's gone, Ike. And I, I, I don't I don't know what to do. Don't worry. I'm here. B brother. I'll lead the company. In father's stead, and I'll protect you all. You, the princess, everyone. I'll protect you. You'll see. No. Brother, I... I... No. Mist? I won't allow it. I can't lose you. Don't you see? If you go, then I'll be all alone. I won't allow it. I'm not going anywhere. I promise you, Mist. Surely Titania should be the head of the company. She always seemed like the second in command. It's a little bit nepotistic, if you ask me. Anyway, welcome to Chapter 8, Despair and Hope. Commander Grail. Why is this happening? Why is any of this happening? Why now? First Crimea, and now you. Ike. Oh, Ike, where's Mist? She's resting in her room. Reese and Rolf are with her. That's good. She needs to sleep. She's been through too much. We all have. You should rest too, Ike. I'll be alright. Griff won't bring my father back to life. I know I've been a, such a burden on the both of you. Titania, Soren, I just need to thank you both for staying here with me. Not at all. There's no need. Don't trouble yourself. Also, why does no one care that Boyd's dead? So, where is everyone? Ike, to tell the truth, yes? I'm back. How did it go? They're gone. Oscar, what's going on? Ike, are you alright? I'm fine. Tell me what happened. Start talking. Right, what's the best way of telling you this? Shannon and Gatry have left. Soren? What? There's nothing to hide, is there? They left? Both of them? What did they... Oh, I see. They left because of me, didn't they? Ike... Titania told us you were going to be the new commander. Shannon just about exploded. He and Gatry left not long ago. I went after them. I thought maybe I could talk some sense into them, but it was a waste of time. We all knew that Ike was going to inherit command of the company, didn't we? It just happened sooner than we wanted. It was Grail's decision. If some of us aren't satisfied with that, there's no reason we should stop them from leaving. As far as losing fighting strength is concerned, we can solve that by adding new members. Soren, after all we've been through together, surely you don't need to take that tone. Forgive me, Ike. I wasn't able to stop any of this. It's not your fault, Titania. They did what they felt they had to do. They didn't want to lose their lives to an inexperienced commander. Ike, don't talk about yourself like that. I'm not saying that to gain anyone's pity. It's the truth. 
But even so, I have no intention of giving up command of this company. Ike? Then what will you... I'm going to follow my father's wishes. I'm going to assume command. If everyone will accept me, that's what I'd like to do. Of course. I'd already made up my mind. That's what I was going to do all along. I'm in too. Reese! Mr. Sleep. I know I missed most of the conversation, but I have a good idea of what you've been discussing. Commander Ike? Yes, it does have a nice ring to it. What about you, Soren? Ike, I'm not sure what help I could be to you. What place is there for me in a mercenary company anyway? You are so weird. I've always depended on you, haven't I? I need your tactical knowledge. I need your objectivity. You're not going to leave me, are you, Soren? Don't worry. I'll be here, watching over you. Thank you. I know I'm not as experienced as most of you. I'm going to make some mistakes, but I'll try not to let you down. Well, you're going to have to do a lot to learn about being commander. I'm glad you're serious, because it's a lot of work. Tell me everything. First, you'll need to understand company expenditures. Then we'll talk about ensuring that everyone is properly outfitted. And we can't forget the need to gather good intelligence. Oh, and you'll want to know everyone's abilities and relationships. Uh-huh. Earlier, I spoke with a merchant caravan that's taken refuge here in the castle. They fled Car Crimea at the same time we did. I told them who we are, and they asked if they could travel with us. I think they're worried about protection from Dayan. In exchange, they've offered us a good raid rate on items and weapons. They'll also buy items and forge weapons for us. Uh-huh. They also said we could use their wagons to store our goods. That's one more worry off our minds. Uh-huh. So anyway... Titania! Yes? I know I said tell me everything, but this is too much, I can't keep up. Maybe I shouldn't learn everything in one sitting. Can you show me the ropes along the way? Is that alright? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry, I got a bit carried away. I'll take over for now. Why don't you get some rest? I'm alright. You worry too much. Get some rest. That's an order. I'll do my best to manage. Yes, Commander. Aha, so now we have the uh, sort of unit, well, squad management screen from which you can sort out each uh, character's equipment from this screen here. Uh, you can manage them by awarding bonus experience based on um, the missions you completed. You get bonus experience at the end of every level and you can use that to level up your characters. So uh, I think I'm going to level up Reese because priests don't really gain all that much experience. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to, well, give him as much bonus XP as I can, really, help him out uh, with healing our forces and not actually getting killed, killed himself. Would have been useful last level when Boyd died, but whatever. Yes, uh, the problem with using bonus experience is that per level you can't gain as many points as you can using normal experience, but it's still a very useful thing to do, uh, so, you know, it's, it's well worth it. And I'm going to use that experience to level up. I think I'm going to level up all my characters by one. That seems like a fair thing to do. Like Mia, for instance. Uh, if I'm doing this sort of thing in the next episodes, I'm going to cut it out because um, it's not that interesting for you to watch. I'm only really doing it this time as a sort of tutorial thing. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this should probably help out a bit. And uh, I'll show you some of the other features in a bit. Um, who have I leveled up? Uh, Titania. Shouldn't be too difficult. And then. Probably Ike and then Oscar, I think. Yes, I can help them become stronger, help them become more efficient in combat. It's kind of cheating a little bit, but it helps you to avoid your characters dying, which is something you definitely don't want in a. A uh, Fire Emblem game since of, since the aforementioned fact that they uh, do not respawn. As we found out from Boyd last episode, actually. Right, so Ike is now a level 8 ranger, HP up, skill up, speed, defense, and res up. Okay, now just Oscar, and then we'll have upgraded all my squad members by 1. I think, unless there's any more squad members, which I don't think there are at this point. Because we lost Shannon and Gatry, as well as obviously Grail and um, Boyd, so we're down a little bit. But uh, oh, that's a good level up for Oscar. 
He's gained one in everything except speed and res. Right. Uh, so that's done. Uh, now we have skills. Now, um, each of your units has a skill capacity, and there are different skills you can learn. It's a bit like the materia in Final Fantasy 7 and 8, uh, where you can assign uh, different skills to each uh, each unit. However, you have to sort of acquire skills, and most of the ones that are available are already, uh, already sorted. Um, within the support screen, you have uh, the ability to speak to other units using some of your units. So we'll have an example of a conversation here. Hey Oscar, can you spar with me for a sec? Wait, where are you going? Sorry Ike, no time, I have to prepare the evening meal today. You? Where's Mist? She's off practicing with her staff. It's been a while since I cooked. I hope I haven't lost my touch. I haven't had one of your suppers in ages. I'm looking forward to it. Really? Yeah, of course, you're a great cook. What do you ask? Well, I never knew that. Miss, Shannon and Reese were the only ones who ever com commented on the subtle spices and flavours that I use. I mean, my brothers are used to my cooking, and Soren hates everything. I think he'd stop eating if he could. Sure, Commander Grail, Titania, Gatry, and you ate everything on the plate, but I feel like you'd eat anything. Oscar, I didn't just shovel the food into my mouth. I enjoyed it. I really did. Remember the first day that Miss took over your cooking duties? Just thinking about it makes me ill. Huh, <laughs> even my father was having trouble choking it down. But I think the Mist is finally starting to get the hang of it. Just like you're training to improve your swordsmanship, Mist is training to improve her culinary skills. You should give her more support. Hearing someone say delicious is the best encouragement a cook can get. I see. I'll make sure to say delicious from now on. Huh, <laughs> thanks. Right, uh, so that was basically it. No more conversations I can have at the moment. Uh, within... Oops, didn't mean to go there. Within info, I have uh, some people I can speak to with uh, like the mo merchant unknown people, Rolf and Reese. Uh, that's just sort of background information and stuff. I keep going onto the save screen, I don't mean to. I'm going to hit end and leave the base. Good morning, Ike. How are things going? Does everything look good? Titania, did you get enough rest? Everything as could be expected, given everything that's been going on. But now we've got some business to deal with. First, we need some new recruits. Oh, but our audience with King Gallia comes first. Any word from the palace? No, nothing yet. According to the Lagus who bought our food, we should be receiving word sometime soon, but... Ike, I've got bad news. Look out the window. Oh, you dastardly Danes. You get everywhere, don't you? That's not what I think, is it? If I'm not imagining things, that's a squad of Danes soldiers. Why do they have to show up now? What could they possibly be thinking coming this far into Galleon territory? If they've come this far, I'm sure getting out of here alive is not one of their priorities. We're in trouble. They have us completely surrounded. We can't escape. So many of them. And so few of us. Doesn't look good, does it? Doesn't matter. We have to fight. Grail mercenaries, ready yourselves. Yes, sir. I begin formulating a strategy immediately. Ike! Brother! Mist, I want you and Rolf to go in the back and hide. But, Ike! Just do it now. Everything will be fine, but I need you to do this, alright? Mm, alright. Be careful. It's happening again. My medallion's glowing. Mother, father, if you can hear me, please watch over Ike. Please, will you protect him? Gabal Castle. Alright everyone, are you ready? Grail mercenaries, move out. Right, and we're into our first uh, battle with Ike as leader, and I'm going to use all my available units since I barely have any. Um, fortunately, the ones I do have are pretty strong, so I'm going to use uh, them to hold various choke points in the level and uh, back them up with um, some uh, ranged troops and uh, healers. So I've got Titania down defending the south entrance against all those cavalry. I've got Oscar on the east entrance against an archer and a bunch of infantry and some mages. Uh, I'm going to place um, Ike on the western entrance. Uh, and back him up with Sauron. 
Actually, no. No, because uh, Oscar's going to be facing Mages, so Sauron might be useful, useful there. Uh, Mia can back up Titania. And Reese can remain on this defence square. Just as a precaution. Oh dear. Poor Mia. Well, that's really not good. Why is everyone hitting Mia? It's not nice. Oh, there we go. Someone actually attacking Titania. Oh, now I see why everyone's attacking Mia. Because if they attack Titania, they die. Just like this soldier's gonna do. Right, hopefully if I can... Uh defend the south entrance, try and wipe out their troops in the first couple of turns, I can uh, send Titania over to one of the other entrances and help sort of boost them. Oh, someone actually did damage to Titania. That's a rare occurrence. But yes, so um, E3 was on last week, uh, and I don't know if anyone watched it, but I certainly had an interesting time. Um, Honestly, it was one of the more disappointing E3s. You'd think with a new console launch that it would be uh, more interesting than it was, but actually, no, we didn't really see that much. Most of the uh, most of them had one or two big games, but it was only really Ubisoft that came across very well for me. They were the only only one that seemed to have a coherent, very very strong show. Uh, and I think you know that's a, it's a shame if that does happen because you know I I I like Ubisoft, yes, but I also like. Nintendo and I like uh, Sony and I like uh, to be honest I like EA I like a lot of what EA have done especially especially with you know Mass Effect and things obviously Origin is not one of the most popular you know services but you know they're, at least they're trying at least they're adding some variety to the market um, Microsoft I'm not that fond of but you know you can't you can't win them all and um, I just think it's a shame that they didn't really have, really have much beyond Halo 4 and Usher um, but my top things of E3 will probably Probably Watch Dogs is the game I'm most interested in uh, from this year's E3. I don't know if anyone's watched it. It's set. It's an open world game set in um, set in Chicago, where you take control of uh, the infrastructure of an entire city uh, through the palm of your hand, through your iPhone or whatever the equivalent is in this game. Uh, and it looks very cool because um, you know you have. You have the ability to control things like bridges, so you can do jumps off bridges with cars and things. You can jam people's cell phones to stop them making calls to uh, bring in reinforcements and things. Uh, you can control security cameras to sort of look around the city, and you can chain your hacks together as well, so you can jump along security cameras and have a look around the opposite end of the city. It just looks like a very cool, very cool concept, and something I'd definitely like to see more of. Right, uh, so back to the Fire Emblem. I'm going to try and use uh, ranged attacks from uh, Sauron as much as I can, mainly because uh, Sauron's at the risk of getting hurt and gives me an opportunity to heal up Oscar. Ah, we're going to level up with uh, Sauron as well, up to level 6 mage, uh, increasing magic and luck, both very useful skills because it affects how often you can critical hit and how powerful your magic is. Right, so uh, items, I'm just going to use a vulnerary for now, uh, just so Oscar doesn't get too low on HP. Uh, but that should be okay, I think. And then I'm going to keep him there. Uh, Titania's doing alright, but I'll move her down so she can start attacking uh, enemy units because we need her to sort of back up the other two when she's done. Oh, good. One XP. Right, uh, there only seem to be three more units coming from the south, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. What is going to be an issue is defending Ike. Uh, so I'm going to position Reese over here and give Ike a bit of healing while I can. Uh, since I am a little bit worried about him, since obviously, as you've discovered a couple of times with this Let's Play, if he dies, then I lose the mission. Oh, ranged attacks, how cowardly. Obviously, Titania can't hit back on that, unfortunately, but. Um, 
You're gonna heal yourself up, soldier. Oh, only five from a ranged attack. I'm hoping uh, Oscar gets a level or so from defending the eastern entrance because he probably needs it to help him because uh, this is not an easy task to sort of go through on your own. Specifically when you're only doing two damage per hit to the enemies. Oh, you're hitting Sauron. That's an interesting choice. The one I can understand since Sauron takes quite a bit of damage. Um, Oh, you've got a mage. That makes things harder. Right. Uh, oh, attacking the mages, I see. How brave. Still, Reese is uh, probably going to survive because I'm going to pull him out of combat as soon as I can. Ah, you missed. Yes, what I've noticed is that Ike suddenly becomes a lot more powerful once he uh, is sort of the commander of the unit, mainly because he's the one able to give orders, so you send him forward into battle a lot longer, and um, he sort of does a lot more damage because you're leveling him up more. But yeah. Right, um... I'm going to move Titania up. I'm going to pull Oscar out. And move Titania up because I don't think Oscar can handle it and I'm afraid he's going to die. So, Titania should be able to make her wait. I'm going to. Um... Ike's doing fine, but I'm going to pull Reese back. Um... Heal up Oscar and then send Mia to defend the southern entrance and use a vulnerary. Like so. Well, hopefully we should be able to hold him for a few more turns now. Oh dear, eight more turns. I'm sorry if this video drags on and on, as I suspect it might. Um, I've really not enjoyed having uh, extremely long videos. Tell you what, I might uh, cut the video off at five turns remaining uh, or so, and then it won't last too long for you. Oh, well, Mia took a hit, but that was really to be expected. So this is why Titania is good, she can dodge most hits. And she also sort of uh, does massive damage, as you just saw, to uh, the soldiers that are attacking on the east flank. Especially good since they're in armour. And even better because it means she gains XP and Titania is one of your most invaluable units once she reaches the maximum level. Oh, well, she's one of my most invaluable units now. As you can see by the fact that another soldier is down. Oh, shooting Sauron again, are we? Oh, well that's not very nice. God, I just thought I'm screwed if one of these guys gets a critical hit. Fortunately they won't know because they lack the range, so that's fine. And Ike's pretty good at taking out his soldiers on his side as well. Which is good, because again, I need him to level up like he's about to do. If he gets one more, uh, well, two more experience points. Ah, that's not good. Oh, but we get a level up for Ike, so hopefully he'll do a bit better in the next battles. And Ike is now a level 9 ranger, it gets increased to HP, skill, and defense. Fantastic. So let's move on. Um, but yeah, as I say, E3, uh, the, the Nintendo conference was an interesting one, because I was probably I was probably expecting it to be a lot better than it was, to be, to be perfectly honest. I think that it was good, there was some good stuff on show. Pikmin 3, uh, nice to see, because we haven't had a Pikmin game for a while. Uh, well, for nearly for nearly uh, eight years now, I think, but, um, you know, uh, very, very good to see that back. It looks very, very pretty, you know, just what we'd expect from a next-generation console. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm certainly looking forward to it, but 
at the same time, I feel that that was kind of the, the best thing they had to show, and I sort of wish they hadn't shown it as early as they did, because it would have been very nice to see um, some other things as well. There were some very good things on show which didn't uh, weren't shown. Things like uh, Project P100, which is a game by the developers of uh, Metal Gear Rising, and it's sort of the uh, cartoony city exploration fighter thingy. Oh, I don't know. They just do weird games, don't they? Uh, right, so I'm going to set a sign down. Uh, oh no, I can't attack through walls with Sauron. What's up? Right, I'm going to move Sauron up here, or back here then. So hopefully he won't get killed. Right, um, I'll have Ike attack that soldier, and hopefully he'll be okay. Ah, critical hit, very nice. Which is a good reason why you should level up your luck stat. Right, so, um, other than Mia, who can't really do anything, but I'll use a Vulnerary on her. I think that's about it for this turn, so I'll leave them to attack again and hopefully wear themselves out on our units. Well, that was good of them. Yes, I suspect I'm probably not even going to get to turn uh, turn five, or well, five turns remaining before uh, I uh, run out of time. Because I'm thinking I'm probably going to cut this at the ha half hour mark. Because I think that's the longest anyone will reasonably watch in one go. It becomes becomes a little bit insane after that, and I you know I don't want to subject you all to that. So if it gets to if it gets to half an hour, I think it's currently just over 27 minutes. Uh, then I'm going to cut it. So I don't think it would be fair to make you sit through another hour or so of me waffling on. Well, maybe Ike will gain another level. I hope so, because he needs his defense boosting, otherwise he's going to die. Oh yeah, another level for Ike. See, this is why uh, this is why these levels get so uh, quick for Ike because you're fighting a bunch of enemies at once, so strength and rise up, and weapon level up as well, it means he'll be more effective with uh, his sword, so that's cool. Oh, I see, new enemies coming in. Right, uh, so I guess I'll continue the combat for another turn. Um, I'll take out a healer, that's probably useful because I can do some serious damage. Oh, I'll get some pure water. Right, uh, I'm going to send Reese over so that next turn he can heal Ike because Ike probably needs it. Uh, and then I'm going to take out this longbowman with Titania because that longbowman's been causing me trouble for a few turns and uh, I wouldn't like to uh, let him hang around, especially when he's threatening my units. And I got a longbow, which is a cool thing to have. Right, I'm going to move up. Because uh, once we take out the unit, other units, we're better. Right, uh, Oscar should be able to take out this javelin soldier, no problem. And then there's another one out of our hair for a while. Oscar, again, a very useful unit. Not that useful at the moment, but that's because he's not that well armed. Uh, and, you know, once he's leveled up a bit, he'll be probably more potent as a, as a character. Right, so Mia, uh, I'll move back up there. I'll send, yeah, I'll send Soren out. Because they don't seem to have any more ranged attackers, so I can probably help out Ike by uh, flinging some magic their way. There we go. Right, enemy phase. I'll finish off this enemy phase and then I'll round off the video for you because um, I don't want to waste your time too much. the dust. Okay, I'm gonna get you to another one. That's the dust. Right, um, well that's unfortunate. I don't mind getting magic thrown at me, but uh, whatever. Titania will probably be okay. 
I don't know how long these turns take when there's tons of them. Still, it's getting stronger and stronger, which can only be a good thing. Oh dear. Oh no, my regal sword broke. Ah oh well. I'll probably get another one. Maybe. Unless it's a one of a kind weapon. I haven't bothered to research this. Probably should have done. Okay, so that player phase is over. Uh, I have paused the game and I will continue it in the next video, which will probably go up Friday, uh, if you are watching this on Wednesday, which I hope you are. So, thank you for watching, I'll see you for the remainder of this level next time.